Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel, The Organized Soprano. If you're new here, hello. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and singer here in the Boston area, and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So today I'm going to take you with me on my seasonal closet decluttering. Now I usually like to do this once a season and I encourage clients also to do this once a season but I've noticed lately in my life that I've become sort of less interested in my wardrobe and more interested in other things. So um, it's time for me to consider really paring down um, on the items in this closet and this can be a really emotional experience for a lot of people because clothes, especially since they're really close to our bodies and you know we touch them and they're just sort of almost an extension of us, can be really triggering a lot of memories for us. We can feel really sentimentally attached to pieces even though we're not wearing them. I'll give you some tips to make it a little easier and uh, hopefully we'll have some fun today and we're gonna pare this down. Potentially, I'd like to make this a little smaller and not so overwhelming. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set up some bins so that I have some places and categories to put items. And helping today is Mr. Clover. So I have my three categories set up. I have Recycle here in this uh, shopping bag and I've got Sell here and this is the smallest container because selling, if you wanna sell clothes, it takes a lot of time and effort. So uh, just only do that if you feel like it's worth it. Um, you probably won't get your return on investment on clothing. Um, and that's the donate pile, which is the biggest pile. Um, and one thing before I get started, I get a lot of questions about these uh, particular containers. These were um, like mesh foldable containers from the container store. Um, they are, they're really cool. They just go like that and fold. Um, but however, container store has discontinued these particular containers. I'll try to find something similar and link it in the comments below uh, or the description so that you guys can um, find similar ones, but um, sadly you can't get them anymore, so I'm sorry about that. Um, in the past I would recommend if a clothing was unwearable, it was, you know, stained beyond repair, that those go ahead and go in the trash. But I do believe that there is textile recycling. I'll put some resources down in the description below so that you can find an area to recycle textile around where you live so that you can make a little bit less of an impact on the <laughs> amount of trash we are just acquiring and uh, contributing to. So textile recycling is something I'm gonna do for the first time this year, which I'm really excited about. So hopefully my clothes will go from clothing to cleaning rags or something like that. So I've turned on the light in here. Hopefully you can see a little better. The first thing I'm gonna do is go through what I'm gonna think is the easiest and what I'm the least emotionally attached to. And that's what I usually recommend that people do first is they go through the easiest category first. So the easiest is sort of this hanging portion here. This is the only stuff I have um, that's short on hangers. So I'm gonna start over here in this black section and see if there's anything that I really haven't worn in the past year or t couple of years. Sometimes I'll give myself a little larger cushion of a couple of years, um, or if there's anything that's really not my style anymore and I'll pull it out and figure out what to do with it. With the of the you left behind. Trying to sleep but the silence is haunting this room every night. I can tend to feel this way. So I've gotten rid of some pieces and after I do um, a first pass, I like to go by and do a second pass and see if there's anything I really had second thoughts about. And I think I've done a pretty good job eliminating some pieces here. Uh, I have worn a lot of this stuff or most, uh, pretty much all of this stuff in the past year, especially I've really been into like blouses and things um, in the past couple of years. So all of this stuff is perfectly good and can stay. Um, I'll show you my pile of donations so far. So far here are the things I am donating to charity. It's not that I don't like these things, I just haven't worn them and there's no sense in them taking up space in my closet even though I really like them, I love them, I have worn them. Some of these things just aren't who I am anymore and um, sadly enough, 
I will have to let someone else enjoy them. And uh, that's really what you should think about this as if you're donating them, someone's gonna find this in a thrift shop and be super, super excited about it. I know that when I was consignment shopping a lot, I would find something and I'm like, oh, I was looking for this for the longest time. So um, please don't feel bad about donating your purchases or even putting them on Poshmark because I found a dress that I was looking for for like eight years on Poshmark. Uh, like a few months ago and I'm super happy with it. I wear it a lot and you know you're making someone else happy with your donations so always keep that in mind when you're making your donation pile. All right I had to grab my water I was so parched and uh, decluttering is hard work you know. Clover I would never declutter you. No you're here for life. You're here for life. I've been holding on to this pair of pajamas for years now and I haven't actually worn them in a long time because I like to carry my phone around with me and these have no pockets. <laughs> so that's just the way that my life is and it never ever ever gets this cold in here to where I'm going to need this much protection. So, so I'm going to pass these on to somebody who maybe is cold at night and needs some protection. I don't. They're really cute. They're like they have sheep on them, white sheep and black sheep. They're just darling, but um, I have not worn them. So sadly, they're going to have to go. Bye. One of the hardest things to do when you're doing this is to be realistic about what you are and aren't doing or wearing. Uh, sometimes there's a fantasy self that you like to pretend that you are, but that's not really you. So you want to make sure that you're decluttering and keeping the things that are actually you right now. Some of this stuff is me from 10 years ago or me from even five years ago and your life and you are a dynamic being. You change, you have moods, you go through periods and um, so you're outside the way that you dress yourself, your icing, which I like to call the self, should reflect that. So don't be afraid to shed some of the things that were representative of you before and keep the things that are representative of you right now. So speaking of that, I'm going to do something really difficult and that is declutter some of my dress collection. Now I have been collecting these dresses for a number of years. I was an anthropology freak. I would shop in there every other week and go crazy in sales um, and I wore them a lot. Like when I worked, I was working in a container store and I just wore jeans and t-shirt at work and when I wasn't at work, I was like, I'm wearing a dress. And I don't do that anymore because I have a different life now. I have a different lifestyle. So I do wear dresses some of the time. I really like them, but not nearly as much as I used to. And I need to cut down on the amount of dresses. So we're going to see today if we can get rid of at least 10. <laughs> that would be good. And uh, if we get rid of 10, then I'm really going to be happy. Let's, oh, let's do it. Okay guys, when it came to dresses and long skirts were back there, I didn't get rid of 10, I got rid of five. So all the rest are my favorites and I do wear them. Um, I'll have to circle back <laughs> in a couple of seasons and see if those are indeed my favorites. I even got rid of some that I did wear but I just, they just weren't like my favorite favorites. I even have two that are very similar so I only kept one that was like the most comfortable. So uh, that's with that. And I think I'm gonna do a little bag declutter as well. This is painful, you guys. But it has to be done. It has to be done. I've got this bag, this tote bag up here, and it has other bags in it. So we're gonna see what the deal is in here. Oh, I'm afraid. All right, so we've got this big tote bag, which I use for traveling. And there's this guy. Oh, wow, I remember this. So I haven't used this bag in a while and I think it might be okay if I let it go, but I 
can tell you with certainty that I used the heck out of this thing. Like, I used it a lot. So I'm checking all the pockets to make sure there's nothing inside before I um, put it in my donate pile. Um, which I'm not, I, there sometimes is there, there are things in my bag sometimes, but I'm pretty good about emptying my bags before I put them up on the shelf. That's just something that um, I've learned is a good practice. Um, Cause you look for things less that way when you just, just when I take tote bags and I put them back on the shelf, I just empty the bag completely, take everything out. So there's nothing left in here. And I think that it's time for me to pass this bag on. Sadly, I really like this teal, teal guy, it's teal with like a pink in interior. It's such a cute bag. Um, but I, I don't remember the last time I used this. I used to use it all the time, but man. All right, well, you're gone. This is the other one I was considering uh, letting go of. This, this guy is so pretty. Look at this bag. Uh, it's made by, I think it's made, I think it's like made locally. Uh, uh, my by Michelle and Yvette for the container store. So this was like specially made by that company for TCS. And uh, I, I have not used this in a long time, you guys. Oh wow, there's like a little armband in here for running, which I don't really do. Don't honestly remember the last time I legitimately used this bag for anything, uh, which is a shame because it's such a nice bag. Oh wow, my gym membership card is on the inside of here. Let's take that out. It's funny because uh, I don't actually use this card anymore. They've just converted to, uh, you can scan your phone there. So it's, it's funny that this is in here. This actually has my um, old married name on it too. So that's, that's how you know it's really old. So that's, that's how you know I haven't used this bag. So as much as I really like this and I think it's awesome, it, it feels really nice quality too. I think I'm going to have to say goodbye to it. Oh, bye tote bag. I feel really sad about it, but I, I never use it. Someone else is going to love this. I'm pretty sure the rest of these in here get regular use. Like there's, there's this bag that's an Eagle Creek bag that gets regular use. This is a really nice bag. I don't know if they make this one anymore, but um, I love this one. This gets used a lot and it's kind of boring, but I use it. And um, this cool, this is a cool bag. This has the T on it. If you're not familiar with um, Boston, this is the public transportation system, the MBTA. And this is the, all of the, the lines you can ride in Boston. There's the orange line, green line, red line, purple. Well, the purple line, I think, is the commuter rail. And there's the blue line. So it's, um, it's a pretty cool bag, and I really like it. So I'm going to keep it. I have used this bag. It's not, like, the best bag, but I think it's just really cool, and I like it. So I'm going to hold on to it. That leaves me with, um, gosh, how many tote bags? This is two shoulder bags. No, three shoulder bags and one backpack. So I think that's more than enough. So I'm gonna put these guys back in here. There is one thing left in here that is um, not really tote bag related. It's just a, uh, it's just, it's a packet for um, packing. It's like a dress bag. So when I do take my dresses on vacation, oh my goodness. When I do take my dresses on vacation, I, I use this. I don't actually know if Eagle Creek makes this anymore. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this. I'll figure it out and I will put it in the description if they do still produce this item. It's really handy. It's, I think it was called like the trifold garment bag or something, but it's pretty handy and I, I like it a lot. It's, I've had it for years, so I keep it in here because it's so big. So that is my bag of bags. I also have a bag of purses. I don't know if anything from here is gonna go, but we're just gonna take a look. Clover and I are gonna take a look, hello? Hello? I, let's see, I, I do still use this bag occasionally, this, this black Kate Spade bag. You know, these, it's not the coolest anymore, but, um, you know, occasionally I still, I still rock that. Uh, this little tiny itty bitty thing of a purse hardly ever gets used, but, uh, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Uh, because it's adorable and I occasionally I do use this when I go out to some place uh, fancy and I'd like to it's just it's really stupid but I love this little stupid bag I have two coach purses in there so this looks pretty good there's only four little handbags in there so I think I think this is fine so 
so I like to keep them all in this little dust dust container here. Dust container, dust sack, dust cover, dust cover. Is that what this is? I think this is a dust cover. So uh, this is going to go back on my shelf. So in conclusion, here is how we turned out. I have everything in one category. I didn't get rid of anything to go to recycling, so nothing was super damaged or anything like that. And I didn't decide to sell anything because it's, to me, it's just not worth it. I do have a couple of things on my Poshmark store. I'll link it down below if you want to like take a look. It's just like size zero dresses from Anthropology. If you're into that, cool, go check them out. Um, make me an offer. <laughs> However, uh, this stuff I'm just going to pass on to somebody to a thrift shop and somebody is going to be really happy to have that stuff. All right, guys, so that is my seasonal decluttering. A little more painful than some other seasonal declutterings, but I know it is for the good of the world. Go through, do it next season, do it every season. Ask yourself the hard, hard questions and really dress for the person you are today, not the person you were 10 years ago, five years ago, even last year or like last week. The person you are today is the person you want to represent. So me and Clover are going to uh, take a little break, have some more water, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Clover, what do you think? What do you think, buddy? <laughs> do you want somebody to get a deal, Clover? Clover Bean? You're so cute in there. How are you? I'm not gonna donate you, I promise. You're just next to the pile. You're not getting donated at all. I'm keeping you. Keeping you forever. Keeping you forever.